madhe venye alirudishwa huko kwa hiyo ofisi ya Saudi hakuna kusaidiwa yeye alisaidiwa alipigwa akapigwa akapigwa na akakuwa forced to sign document fulani hapo kusema ati wamesettle hiyo issue na mdosi wake na akorudi tu wako so walimforce hadi hizo video hiyo barua yeye alisaini kwa nazo so mimi nilitumia hiyo video hadi nilikuwa naangalia like nasema ai huyu mama hata kama anaongea ai hayuko happy na ngajua there must be a reason behind the so kuna dem fulani tu mwenye alikuwa huko pia akiona hizo situation zote zikioka kwa ofisi najua sasa alibatika alirudi Kenya sasa huyo ndo mama alimtuma alimwandikia namba yangu akamwambia wewe ukifika Kenya pigia kijana wangu mwambie venye kuko sasa ndio madam alinipigia tukaongeongea ni ni Hello to my amazing people. My name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, uh, Kenya. Uh, guys, uh, today a special segment of my brother ambaye amekuwa kitafuta mama yake ambaye anajulikana kama Anthony Njoroge. The lady you are seeing on the screen hapa anaitwa anajulikana kama Mary Wamboi ambaye alipata kusafiri kuelekea maeneo za Saudi uh, in 20 that is last year June. Eh? na uh, alipoenda Saudi alikuwa na matumaini kwamba uh, wale watoto wake ambao aliwaacha Njoroge and the siblings wale wao wa, wa, okay ni kwamba atakuwa aki, akiwasaidia so apparently wenye alitoka aliwacha ali, ali kama amewarentia nyumba ambapo sasa watakuwa wanajaribu yani wanaweza kujikimu and kuwa natuma pesa kidogo akiwalipia uh, rent and uh, watakuwa wakipambana So uh, meanwhile ni kwamba Njoroge alikuwa ndio kijana wake ambaye kidogo ni mkubwa kidogo at around uh, ako na 24 uh, years around 24 23 24 hapo years eh? na Njoroge alikuwa aki uh, take care of the, the siblings mama yake alikuwa anatuma pesa na kwa sababu uh, they wa, uh, walikuwa Uh, nani uh, Ameri Wamboi alikuwa ni single uh, parent yeye ndiye alikuwa na ashughulikia watoto wake kabisa uh, kwa sababu tu ya kutafuta uh, means ya kujaribu kukimu familia alipata kusafiri kuelekea maeneo za Saudi that is in 2022 last year that is June na alikuwa amesafiri na kampuni ambayo uh, the recruitment agency ambayo inajulikana kama a Pelvic a Solution Limited a pelvic solution limited ambaye uh, the a person ambaye alikuwa amesimamia hii kampuni anajulikana kama Sara Kiere. Uh, Sara Kiere ndiyo uh, uh, the managing uh, somehow the managing director wa hii kampuni ambayo inajulikana kama Pelvic a Solution Limited. Uh, pelvic Solution Limited na ilikuwa ni kampuni ambayo ilipata kupeleka Mary Wamboi uh, maeneo za Saudi. Uh, Peri wa Moyi amekuwa akipotea sana like watu waje uh, according to Njoroge Anthony Njoroge ameniambia kwamba mamake amekuwa akipotea sana hii ni baada ya kuwa anapitia changamoto huku na huku na sasa hivi ni kwamba hawajapata kuzungumza na yeye na these worries are him na anajaribu kadri wezavyo kujaribu kumtafuta guys i want you guys just to listen from uh, uh, nani mwenyewe i want you guys to listen from uh, Anthony Njoroge the message he had akijaribu kuomba usaidizi kwa sababu according to the pelvic solution limited madam Sara Kiere amepata kumzimia simu and even there is no communication yet there are the people who are responsible ambao walipata kupeleka mama yake maeneo za Saudi na sasa hivi kwamba mamake amekuwa kama haonekani some of you guys muona hii video huyu mama ikienda viral and uh, when Anthony Njoroge alinipata kunirich i wanted also to share this so that aone kama atapata mamake mzazi kwa sababu uh, sasa hivi ni kwamba ameishi ame yani yeye aniabidi apambane aende atafute pia ndio apate kulisha familia kwa sababu mamake ndiye alikuwa anatuma pesa na sasa hivi kwamba kuna mtu mamake totally atumi kitu so it depends ni yeye ajitume aende atafute angalie venye anazalisha watoto wao wenye mabaki na pia kualipia karo at 24 unapata budget imeongezeka mamake mzazi ambaye alikuwa anajaribu kuwasaidia hayupo ya yeye ndiye anasimamia nyumba ya kulipa kwa sababu ni rentals yeye ndiye anapambana so guys i happen to share alijaribu kunitumia i want you guys just to listen because uh, we shared some moments na yeye na akajaribu kunielezea haya so guys just listen to this meanwhile guys share this ifikie pelvic solution limited and madam sara kiege uh, ya kwamba ajaribu kutafuta atuelezee mary wamboi uh, mamake uh, antony njoroge ako wapi hey, yeah. So mi naitwa Anton Joroge ya yeah, na my mama anaitwa Miru Amboi. So my mom alikuwa amepelekwa Saudi Arabia huko na agency fulani inaitwa Pevlink. Pevlink Solution Ltd. Yeah. Na agent mimi alimpeleka anaitwa Sara Kiere. So mom alipelekwa Saudi Arabia it was 
mlastia mwezi wa sita na nyumba yenye alikuwa amepelekwa huko alikuwa amepelekwa kuangalia grandmother fulani hapo sio grandmother akaleta ubishi akasema like yeye aiziangaliwa na mtu mwenye si hiyo mm, msaudi arabia mtu mwenye sio wa unaona so ikaleta drama huko ni nini madha kempea food like kataki kukula so ikabidi madhe ajitoe hapo unaona ndio alikuwa anaona like huyo grandmother anza kufia kwa mkono yake so wenyewe nyumba instead ya kumrudisha kwa ofisi so that abadili uh, ofisi mtafutie nyumba ingine kwenye hiyo nyumba wenyewe walimuuza walimu kwa household nyingine unaona so huko penye alienda amepitia ngori sana ya mkoa kitusumbuliwa na bibi ya kijana wa hiyo boma juu huyo mama mwenye hiyo boma sasa mwenye amajiri madhe sasa ya ana shida lakini sasa bibi ya kijana yake anashinda kisumbua madhe kila saa ana move work unaona sometimes hadi anampiga eh? so madhe amekuwa akipitia tu hizo mashida hapa na pale amekuwa akiongea na mimi tumekuwa tukicommunicate ananiambia venye kuko na mimi na ambio ofisi but unfortunately ofisi hiyo ni kuna any effort ni memeke juu ofisi ilikuja kaniambia like watamchukua mrudishe kwa ofisi ya huko sasa ya yeah, ofisi huko Kenya ndio kwa nasema watapigia wenye hiyo nyumba kumwambia rudishe madhe kwa hiyo ofisi ya huko Saudi so kutoka hapo wanaweza mwokolea lakini surprising ni kwenye nilishangaza sana ni madhe venye alirudisha huko kwa hiyo ofisi ya Saudi hakuna kusaidia wenye alisaidiwa alipigwa kapigwa kapigwa na kakuwa forced ku sign document fulani hapo kusema ati wamesetle hiyo issue na mdosu wake na accredited to work so walimforce hadi hizo video hiyo barua nyali alisaini kwa nazo so mimi nilitumia hiyo video hadi nilikuwa naangalia like nasema ai huyu mama hata kama anaongea ai hayuko wapi na angajua there must be a reason behind the so kuna dem fulani tu mwenye alikuwa huko pia akiona hizo situation zote zikioka kwa ofisi Najua sasa alibatika alirudi Kenya. Sasa huyo ndo mama alimtuma, alimwandikia namba yangu akamwambia, "Wewe ukifika Kenya pigia kijana wangu mwambie venye kuko." Sasa ndo madam alinipigia tukaongeongea ni nini? Kaambia, "Oh, ni saa juu hadi nilikuwa nashuku hivyo. Sasa nafuatana na hiyo ofisi nilimpeleka kupitia huyo agent wake Sara Kiere anaambia tu mama kopoa. Namwambia sasa kama kopoa mbona hatucommunicate na yeye in any way? Hmm? We as the family members are to communicate na yeye aje na unanihakikishia that ako sawa juu salary yake ya november na december yote ilichukuliwa unaona ilichukuliwa yote so ikakuwa mvutano tu hapa na pale nini nini so hadi yetu ongeane na mama mara anga mwisho ku communicate na ilikuwa on the date 25th ya uh, december last year hiyo ndio ilikuwa mara anga ya mwisho mimi kuongea na in fact ilikuwa through text ya sms ya kawaida So for now alinyang'anywa simu apatikani tunajaribu ku communicate hadi na wenye hiyo nyumba tunawaambia like watupatie namba ya mama hata kama ni ya huko Saudi at least kwa tuna communicate na ye pia wanatu wana wana nini blue tick tu mpiga hmm? mkikol mki mwakuwa blocked so tujui wenye kuko sijui yake tuko gizani tu so tunashangaa kwa ni mama kwa wapi ameenda missing sasa ni kikaunti hiyo mtu months zinaisha sasa hmm, aonekani pigi simu ofisi tupatie ni positive information kumuhusu hmm, na huyo secretary mnyako huko kwa ofisi ya huko Saudi anaitwa Christine ya yeah, ni muganda huyo msichana ako na madharau juu huwa tuna communicate na yeye like tunamwambia eh hey, you are the secretary wa huko ile ofisi kindly try following up hiyo story ya mama niambie kweli eh yeah, natujibu tu nasema tu i have a lot of things to do kwani hiyo story moja tu ndo ndashinda nikishughulikia kila siku kila siku so yani hakuna any support yenye ametupatia nikimtumia hmm. message anasoma nikiona mmezisi sana na hiyo story ya mama ana block tunajaribu namba zingine bado ana block so hatujui like seriously hatujui kenye kinaendelea hatujui 
Jumazee ameenda missing mm? na tujui hivyo venye alipigwa kama amepona ama kupona jo according when you dem alikuwa ananiambia eh hey, mama alipigwa vibaya sana hadi video kiangalia utaona like eh ame change sio tu kwa venye alikuwa unaona sura nkae imefura fura so that's all i can say yeah ni watu ndio wenye kuko so kama naweza nisaidia at least eh hey, naweza furahia sana juu sasa hii eh hey, niko gizani ndio nilikuwa na watoi wetu huku naona mimi ndo kila kitu like na make sure wanakula wanavaa lazima mm, niende kazi pia na kazi naona pia naona naikuwa busy 24/7 hadi tukangi na ruhusa ya kushika simu so mimi wanapatikana tu saa moja usiku at least usiku usiku ndo najaribu ku follow up nijue imefika wapi ni nini ni yeah. ni hivyo tu so hey napitia hard time napitia hard time sana So if you can help me you can help me in any anyway I will really appreciate yeah Of course guys eh hayo ni ma, uh, ya maneno yake Anthony Njoroge am mtoto wake Mary Wamboi So guys eh I'm asking this also I am polite to notice that kuna kama kuna yule mtu ambaye alipata ku travel na Pelvic Solution Limited na ukapata kumuona huyu Mary wamboi tafadhali uh, reach me out at the comment section also you can comment uh, you can search for me anywhere you can DM me you can comment I'll, I'll pick you up ama unaweza nitafuta kwenye TikTok at freelancer journalist we share this you can inbox me on Facebook at MC Durga 8 town and we can share this uh, or on my page at Durga's TV pale on uh, on uh, ama on uh, just look for me hapa hata kwenye nini my number is always free you can text me you can uh, inbox me because namba yangu inakuwa hapa guys if you happen to see ulimpata kumuona Mary Wamboi kwa sababu watoto wake sasa hizi wanasema kwamba they wanapitia changamoto kwa sababu mamao ndio alikuwa akiwalipia kila kitu karo la shule karo za shule uh, sasa hizi mmemlazimu njorogi atafute kazi ajaribu kusaidia wale madugu zake na wale ambao walibaki nao kujaribu kuwatafutia chakula kuwatafutia kila kitu and to pelvic solution limited we want you to give us uh, the information of the where about of mary wamboi kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye ilikuwa hako kwenye contract na alipata ku travel na nyenye and uh, sasa hivi tunataka tufahamu kwamba yuko wapi kwa sababu it is to, uh, through our constant that uh, 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 we want to know exactly mary wamboi yuko wapi it is so painful the guys that uh, hao akina njoroge wameachwa kupambana Uh, kwa watoto wadogo wamewachwa kupambana yet mama yao yuko mahali amefungiwa aezi ku access any information if anybody amepata kumuona huyo Mary Wamboi tafadhali tueleze and to this agency called Pelvic Solution Limited Madam Sara Akiere tafadhali tueleze msichana yuko wapi so guys my name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi Kenya guys thank you for watching meanwhile guys don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you don't miss one of our videos